basically on Wednesday, uh, on the 9th of November, you know, we all uh, woke up to the news um, of the results of the election of the 45th president of the United States of America and, and uh, the Republican nominee, um, J. Donald Trump, he won the elections. And uh, so likewise, as uh, as there has been a president uh, from the very beginning, um, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, in his personal capacity, um, has offered uh, congratulatory messages uh, to the white to, to, to Donald Trump, and likewise on behalf of the Central Tibetan Administration, Sikyong Dorlosa Senge sent a congratulatory message, and uh, we also saw the Speaker of the Tibetan Parliament in exile sent a congratulatory message, and what we could see is the key of the message is how U.S. is a great nation and how uh, we as Tibetans or the exiled Tibetan establishment is grateful to the U.S. Uh, for what it has done for the Tibet cause. You know, we share friendly ties uh, uh, with, with the U.S. in the pre-1959 independent Tibet era. And uh, likewise, uh, there's, there's been a lot of uh, uh, camaraderie between the U.S. government and, and, and Tibetans, especially with His Holiness. You know, a lot of the great leaders of the U.S. share personal friendship uh, with His Holiness. And so likewise, uh, the messages are asking the president-elect um, to up keep the values that this great country or this great democracy, uh, the most successful democracy in the world, uh, values and cherishes.